chasing the police every single day. Um, the computer, because it's delayed. Oh. Okay. Hi. What, what are we doing? Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. This is Rachel and JC at Summary Judgment Talk Show. Who are we speaking with? Charlotte County, what? Charlotte County Cop Watch. Charlotte County, Florida. Oh. You were just talking about me. Oh yes, sir. How you doing? Thank you. For, you're paying attention to our show. Thank you very much. Hey, yeah, uh, I, 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 go ahead. You guys have a lot going on. Can you give us a quick brief? I mean, I'm I'm sure you probably have heard some of we talked about these government press credentials. But let's really push it a little further and show you how far, folks, our government's gone. Will you tell us what is happening in your town right now? All right. Uh, so now I can see why you wanted me on the show, because as you said, this relates to uh, what I told you that they're doing here. Two years ago in Charlotte County, Florida, uh, there's a little town called uh, Punta Gorda. There's a little city. They made an ordinance that said you cannot record public officials in a public place and a public building. And if you do, you will be trespassed for uh, possibly a year. Uh, two other people were trespassed for lifetime. Uh, they had no uh, redress. You could not appeal that uh, unless you sued them. So we could not find a lawyer for uh, many years. And uh, so Charlotte County is a county uh, that uh, surrounds Puerto Gorda, and they said, wow, since they're not getting sued, let's put this on steroids. And uh, they made a rule. They didn't even make an ordinance. They just made a rule and stuck it in the middle of uh, 15 uh, ordinances, uh, rules that, you know, basically if you fart, they can trespass you. So they put this rule in the middle of their ordinance that they voted on, but they didn't vote on the rule. And that one also says that you cannot record a public official in a public place. And we, I think we are up to eight people that have been trespassed on that. If you walk into a government building with a camera, you will be instantly trespassed for a year. Now, now do you, will this break your heart when you hear the courts say they have qualified immunity? It, it does. I could not believe it when you're talking about that. What is going on in America? I'll tell you what's going on in America. America became America because they got tired of government. America jumped on boats and they left the British. And anybody who came to challenge them versus join them and live amongst them as a friend and a foe versus an enemy. Right? Well, as a friend, I mean, not a foe, but as a friend. Anybody who came to live with them as an ally, as a friend, was accepted. But if you were coming in to do them harm, they said, hell no, and they took care of their tribe. Well, now we have grown. And basically what's happening is when you really look at where these things are coming from, they're coming from some big cities, a lot of it. In your case, it's not. But with us, they're coming from big populated states of abuse, okay, right. which is exactly the same areas that control mass populations of people. Okay, so here in Little America, we're being affected, and that's why the Electoral College, because these people are quietly abusing everything over here. Nobody over here knows what the hell's going on. Nobody's seeing it. And it's the fact that people like you have come public. Now, the only way to stop this thing was how did we fix this country and make this country? We held them accountable. We didn't sue them. We drugged them out of their buildings and we held court. We, the people, did. We took our guns and our bayonets when they came to our front lines and we got rid of them. Right now, we have a Democratic Party that's inviting the foreigners in. Right now, we have an inside, not just a Democrat Party, it's both parties, that are trying to gain power and control. I mean, I'll give you a prime example. Kamala Harris is running for president of the United States right now. A couple years ago, I was standing on a street corner in San Diego when they were doing a function for Bill Collender, who was a, was a sheriff of San Diego one time and also the police chief of San Diego one time. 
who later on died of dementia, and while he was sick, he actually appoint, illegally appointed the current sheriff to sheriff, which was a totally illegal thing to do, you know. But somehow yeah. they managed to pull that off and made it happen, even though it was illegal because he had to be voted in, okay? And he was never appointed by the county. He just put the damn things on. Most people don't even know that. That's how much our sheriff knew about being a sheriff. He just put them on. <laughs> Somebody said I could wear them, and he did. And he... He act his way into feeling, and we gave it to him. Okay? Right. Until they fear Americans. And the only thing they... You know why foreign countries don't come invade us? Because they fear our guns. You know who doesn't fear our guns? Our government. Because we thought our government was protecting us. And we got cushy and going to school, going to our prom, going to the bar after work, going to our law firm, going to our bowling alley. We let the government deal with it, okay? And as a kid, when I was eight years old, if I was walking down the street with my mom and dad and we saw the cops doing something, they'd go, come on, don't watch, don't watch them. We don't want any problems with them. Well, that's what terrorism is. And nobody really understood it then, but we were setting precedents. We were now afraid of the people who were protecting us. They didn't even want us watching them because it would get us in trouble for watching them. You think about it. Now we're filming them, and we're getting in trouble for filming them. You, you had said right. that for a long time you couldn't get a lawyer interested. Does that mean you have a lawyer who's interested now in challenging this? Uh, yes, we Good. finally found a lawyer uh, that's a friend of Jeff Gray's, which is a friend of J.C., Andrew Bondrew and Jack. God. Yeah. I'm serious. It's bad. Well, welcome to America. I just hope that this money they spent on a speaker to teach these people how to violate the constitutional rights doesn't in turn give those people qualified immunity because they were taught this, so arguably they could have believed that what they were doing was correct. Now, the other side of it is you can go after the municipality for you know, for you know, practices and policies that violate the Constitution, and so I'm sure the attorneys are attacking it from both ways. Hey, um, hey I, have one, I have another one to ask you. We have four different agencies in Charlotte County that conspired together to stop us recording: the elected sheriff, the elected DMV, and the elected election office, plus the Charlotte County government. We have the emails. Did conspiracy to shut us down? Is that Rico? That is punishable by the death penalty in some cases, depending on how far it goes. Because when <laughs> when governments right. conspire to to work, and this is exactly what went on. And I'm going to give you a prime example of this. Are you U.S. Attorney Laura Duffy, Southwest United States for San Diego? She was the boss. Okay, when all this press credentialing started with me back in 2009 and 10, okay, I was standing on a street corner out in front of her federal building when she was holding a press conference on the sidewalk. And I was ordered to put my camera down because I didn't have SDPD press credentials. And she specifically said, because I don't have SDPD press credentials, I'm not a member of the media. Oh, they, they have no... This was the words that. that came out of the mouth of the U.S. attorney, not one of her her, her, her little peons, not her, her, her hired help from the San Diego Union, who's her, her uh, press person. It started with her because she said I had to do it, and I said bullshit, so she called Laura Duffy, and Laura Duffy got on her loudspeaker and said... J.C. Playford should be removed from that sidewalk. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's wow. the U.S. government. That's the FBI type people. So, But yeah, in another press conference, as I kept fighting back, 
and fighting back. Lord Duffy is on one of our cameras again, going, he most certainly is media. Why Bonnie Dumanis's people were pushing and shoving at me, she came in and saved me from it. And although every press camera in San Diego County was pointed at me when she said it, none of them had the brains to report about what the words were coming out of their mouths, and it affects them directly. Correct. Yep, they're just standing back and letting it happen to other people, and they don't realize that it's killing them as well because they have no credibility anymore, and it shows. They're out of business. San Correct. Diego Fire Department is now doing fire lines with yellow caution tape. And the media wow. is staying three blocks away from house fires. There you go. There you go. Oh, my. If it'll make you feel better, D.C., uh, you are correct. I cannot go to any of the press events at the sheriff's office. Go to all of them. They sent me a, they sent me a document that says I must have 15,000 papers uh, uh, in circulation before I'm uh, allowed. Oh, my God. That's okay. Totally serious. Let me ask you this. You got a YouTube channel, right? How many total how, how many total views do you have? How many total views? How many total He said in circulation. How many views is circulation? Not subscribers. Circulation is views. it came down it just they took it down I, they took it down youtube did they took it they did because the government complained well i had a government uh, in arizona complain right. about one of my they videos and, right. and, 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 and it never took came it down. and it never came back up it can't come back up never no they killed that one i had a backup channel with maybe 10 million and they killed that one too now i'm shadow banned jc i'm aware I mean, that's a I livelihood. That's a livelihood that? that they're killing. That's a livelihood that they're killing there. And that's you know? what your government's yeah. trying to do is to destroy our livelihoods. Because if they destroy our livelihoods, then we can't afford to sue them. And we can't afford to pay for the gas to go down and film them. And that's what it's really all about. We had a Lieutenant Donna Sutton from the San Diego Sheriff's Department tell an editor, a a local news editor in San Diego County, was they were doing a meet and greet. And the news editor went, I'm thinking about hiring some more camera folks. And Lieutenant Donna Sutton told this news editor, well, you better not hire J.C. Playford or we'll come after you. Wow. But yet the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is pulling this bullshit. I don't think they put any thought into that decision. I really don't. And I think I, it's going to come back to bite them in their ass when you do, do your job and close it out in the Supreme Court. Yeah, they just they just Bam. didn't put any any thought into it. So can you t tell us to, tell us a little bit more about what you do down there in in Florida? I mean, now that the YouTube site is is shut down, you know what what have what have you done to carry on? Okay. So I've, I've done this for six years. I unfortunately experienced corruption here, and that's what woke me up. So that's when I started Cop Watch. Uh, I do, unbelievably, the Facebook page has uh, lived through all this. Uh, Charlotte County Cop Watch, uh, that's on Facebook. Uh, I started another YouTube channel, but JC just admitted what's happening to some of us. It is so shadow banned, I maybe get 300 views a video. It's disgusting. Um, but I don't care. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because, like JC said, if we don't fight, then we are not free. Correct? Correct. Yes. Hey, how close to Fort Lauderdale are you? Uh, Fort, that's uh, approximately three, three hours away. So you're like dead between St. Augustine and Fort Lauderdale? Uh, kind of, yeah. Okay, because I'm going to be Where's in Fort that? Lauderdale. Punta Gorda? Is that where you're at? Yeah, Port, yeah, Port of Gord is in between Fort Myers and Sarasota. On the west coast. Okay. He knows that area. Yeah, 
I'm going to call Jeff Graves. I know he's off on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, I'm going to call Jeff Graves immediately after this show. And I'm going to ask him if he wants to drive down there Monday night and pick me up at the airport because I know he's off for a couple of days. Maybe him and I can go down there. I got a question for you. When they're trespassing, are they putting you in handcuffs? Okay, well, then I guess I'm going to jail. Oh, wow. None of us have went to jail. That, that is up to you, but I will tell you, this, this sheriff is completely out of control here. That's okay. I guess I'm going to jail. Because okay, I, I've got no... If Jeff Graves will run down there with me Monday night when I get off that plane, right. I have no problem in going there and doing what needs to be done to fix America. None. And and you know what the, the odd thing is? Why does a private citizen have to hire an attorney to sue for a civil rights violation under 1983? Why doesn't the state of Florida say, these municipalities are state-created jurisdictions. Right. They are acting illegally. Right. Why doesn't the federal government say this state is acting illegal, illegally? I mean, that kind of flies in the face of Joe Cole wanting states to be able to do whatever they want to. But on the other hand, states and the federal government, they should step up to the plate when they see illegal activity going on, but they it, don't. It's funny you mention that because the FBI and the federal government is participating in these crimes. I mean, when I have the FBI, PIO, in San Diego standing in front of me and say, we don't talk to anybody who does not have San Diego press, SDPD press credentials. They are a part of the problem. Wow. We were sitting... Wow. In one of the shootings they did in San Diego, they decided they wanted to hold a town meet and greet. And they brought all these cops in and they brought the FBI in. With, and you're going to love this. So they had all these scumbags sitting up there, these supposedly leaders, sitting up there in all these chairs. And you had all these pissed off like, uh, eight because it was an Asian person they shot this time and they were pissed. And some of the black folks and the, you know, the, the people of color were pissed. There were a few white folks in there, but it was more the people of color that were pissed, you know. And that's, the best way I can say that, because I don't know how, any other way to describe that, you know. Correct. And they had an FBI agent sitting in there. Now, this is a public open forum, and when I asked a question, SDPD Chief Shelley Zimmerman refused to answer it. And I go, see, that's your problem, folks. <laughs> right? She goes, we refuse to answer anything from J.C. Playford. That's the chief of police wow. in a public forum with all these people. And the people started to get mad. But then I turned to the FBI. I go, why are you here? He goes, well, we're here for, you know, talk about any civil rights violations that may occur. Exactly. It's like, well, if you're here, you're on the wrong side of it. What are you doing sitting with them? What are you doing sitting with the cops, the ones who are committing the crime? Correct. Why are you not over here representing me and arresting them? Yeah, because there are analogous statutes to 1983 that the government can bring a, that can bring, bring against government officials, state and local government officials, but they hardly ever do. They hardly ever use it. Now, now I don't know. Wow. Now I don't know if you saw a video I just posted called "Piece of Shit with a Badge Part One, Part Two. I don't know if you saw that. Yes, I did. Oh my God, that was bad. Now, now, how much further away could I bend? From filming these guys Correct. how much further away could I have possibly been where you got to yell down the street at me right I mean literally oh yeah you are yeah you are you see him right on that particular note the FBI with that video should have went what the hell went on here this Correct. is a crime but instead you got to go to the department and complain. Correct. Because the FBI ain't hey, going to hey, do it. Go ahead. Can, can I mention that, that this disease of tyranny is spreading? Uh, did I tell you the local courts here, the Sheriff County Court and the Lee County Court, and I do believe it, it was because of me, I was in there. You know and I know it. The regular courts in the hallways, we should absolutely have the right to record 
They have also enacted no recording audio or video in the public areas of the court. Well, that's because they tried to claim they're trying to protect their jurors. So which, that is one of the reasons that they gave, correct. And one of the other things is, is that in San Diego, as sickening as this sounds, they hold, they literally line all these people up in the hallway, they give them a public defender, and the DA sit over top of them while they're talking to their clients. Wow. And they don't want you recording this. Wow. If you record in a courthouse, what they're really concerned about is that your camera might catch a judge or a cop doing some corrupt stuff. Because the only way to fix the courts in the courthouse is to put a camera on every judge in America, put a camera facing at every district attorney, and put a camera pointed at every supposed bad guy. Well, see, I have and some, the witness stand. I, I have some thoughts on that. I really believe in and advocate for, and American News, in fact, does go into courtrooms in Connecticut and record what happens in the courtroom. And that doesn't happen in Connecticut very often. In Connecticut, throughout Connecticut, you're not allowed to record in outside the courtroom, and you're not allowed to record inside the courtroom unless you're a media organization. So we get back to that whole issue. But I, right. I, I do know that judges don't usually walk around the hallways of courthouses I, I, for a lot of reasons. So you're not really going to catch a judge doing something bad, usually in a... You know, right. whatever. I do know that sexual assault victims, including children, go to court. Um, there are jurors that go to court. There are people that are innocent because they haven't been proven guilty who go to court. But um, it's a public place arrest. about what's happening. Yeah, yeah, and as long as a public, public place... Oh, oh. Somebody better start paying attention to this new programs that are on TV about first responders yeah, and the, and the cameras right up the police Well, well yeah, I was just getting there. ready to cover That's all right. that. You know, I don't know if you've heard, watch any of these first responders or these cop shows or any of this. Live PD, correct. Live right. PD, all my customers love live PD. But, but it's kind of funny how these cameras are with the cops yeah. and around the cops, but these live PDs aren't allowed to report on the cops doing anything bad or their shows get canceled. That well, of course. Correct. Of that course. Okay, so therefore you only get to see controlled what the government wants. And this comes yeah. right into exactly... Let's take Jeff Gray's area. Well, you know, you know what, though? Let me interject there, and, and that is a good point. And by the way, that was Ed Peruta, who's off camera, and he's my usual okay. co-host on the show, but... He is uh, three weeks out of a heart transplant, four weeks out of a heart transplant, and he's just kind of returned to the office, and he couldn't help kind of joining in. So that was him offering his input on the first responder. And you're, you know what? You're right. If, if first responders and police officers can um, be, be recorded by these shows... And people who are caught on video may be innocent. They haven't been proven guilty yet, that's for sure. That and they may go to trial and it may be not guilty. Or they may go to court and the case may be dropped. Which means their case is dismissed and it's, it shouldn't be a matter of public record. At least in Connecticut, it's not a matter of public record if, if your case is dismissed. So one of my arguments right. why there shouldn't be recording in a courthouse is you got people who maybe are going to be found not guilty. They're, they're never going to be proven guilty. And why should they be subjected to having their image out there as being in court, whatever? But I guess we're already doing that out on the street. We are doing it. Yeah. So why can't we do it in the court? Are you kidding me? Right. So, so their excuse kind of falls apart right. on the, that end the, at least. The courts want you to believe that you have the right to film the government in yeah. action but the courts don't want you to film them right okay that this law that you can't film a sexual assault suspect direct violation of our constitutional rights well suspect i think victim is victim i mean victim. yeah not the suspect, yeah but um, thank you for correcting me yeah, on that that's okay. but but for us to not be able to identify a sexual assault victim what makes them any different from a burglary suspect, wow. or attempted murder suspect, or Did a... You see, guess what, guess what they tried to charge me with? <laughs> for, for, for doing 
doing a story for doing a story on a sexual assault of this stuff that it happened one year ago. I was under investigation for nine months because they were trying to get me on like, exposing a victim's name. I could not believe it. Rutherford Institute almost took that JC. They dropped it when I mentioned Rutherford Institute. Hey, are you ready for nice. this? I'm familiar San with that. San Diego sheriffs opened up an investigation and tried to have me arrest. Were trying to arrest me. They were having me followed around by sheriffs, including a lieutenant mm -hmm. at one time, to try to bust me for posting illegal signs because I was posting signs on trees in Ramona telling people what to expect from their sheriff's department. And I would post them. I would post these signs next to yard sale signs you know, things of that nature. And we would film the cops pulling up, driving up, and taking my sign down, but not the yard sale sign down. That, that's kind of that's kind of like a couple of years ago when they took the Trump sign down in my yard, but not the Clinton sign across the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> you know? So, so where does it end? It goes back to one is by land, two is by sea, but we need to add it. Three is if they look like you and me. Well, you, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Go ahead. Can I tell you one more tyranny story where this, this virus is spreading? This is the last one. We just found out Fort Myers City Council wants to pass an ordinance if you say a bad word in a meeting or hurt somebody's feelings, you can be fined $500 and 60 days in jail. Great. I got a way to tell people to F off all day long. Do it. Oh my God! What's there going on go. down there? I, I I guess I'm going to jail for a couple of things. Who can I swear to? <laughs> I've got it is out of control down here. That's why we've been reaching out uh, to you, Jeff Gray, because this is this feels like the Constitution doesn't even exist here. Okay, so we're gonna we got another call coming in. I'm, it sounds okay. like you it sounds like you two are gonna be following up on something maybe before Monday night or or whatever. So yes. I, it was a pleasure talking to you, and we'll look for you, okay? Hey, and start chiming right, in more with you. us a little bit more often, if you would, please. Okay, all right. Bye-bye. Yeah. They got problems down sick. there. Oh, man, that was a pleasure. Hi, this is Rachel and JC on Summary Judgment Talk Show. How are you? Hey, Sheriff Connie, this is Sheriff Connie Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.